Every morning I wake under the security cameras of a building. And yesterday I went to pick up a chair that I had left for a friend who works here, feeling that maybe he didn't care for it because someone had ruined it the night before. Lily ripped it further than it should have been. What I find this morning, once again, is my cords in a plastic bag are missing from my pocket, which means, once again, a gay person, I have to presume, because otherwise, why would they be putting their hands on my body and in my pockets? Took things from my pocket. My pouch of cords is now missing. Now, last night, I was standing on the sidewalk, and when I walked away from my pack, it was perfectly stable. And what I know is that someone who is tall and lanky and long legs was about the front of the restaurant. He works there as a garbage collector and a putter out of garbage. When I came back to my pack only a minute or two later after I picked up that small stool to bring it to my things, my entire pack had been knocked over. Now, was it knocked over by a stupid guest who was a teenager who was going into the shop for food? Was it knocked over by that tall, lanky employee of the company that's never in a good mood, but who this morning got into my pockets while I was sleeping? Who thinks they have the right to do that? Who took my plastic pouch of my cords and my electrical outlets? I'd like to know that, because at no time did I ever authorize you to come to where I'm sleeping and take one thing from my pockets or take it off my mat if it fell out because you've been playing with the man's clothing, adjusting the pocket size so shit will fall out? Or are we really purchasing such horrible things through the international trade agreements and treaties from China and other places of clothing that do not have secure pockets? You've lied to yourself about your rights to take things from me while I'm sleeping. You've lied to yourself about your rights to get on my social media channels as if nobody was watching. When someone like me is at a certain level of employment, people are always watching. But stop lying to me about who you're going to take to jail, because if you don't take them to jail, someone like me is going to have a military man come and fix it and teach a black child to stop touching me. Or is it a Hispanic child that has a special needs mom? Or is it a black woman who's trying to teach me some lesson about sleeping outside? The answer is you'll never teach me that lesson because you failed to provide a shelter that's for real adult men. What you provided was a derelict's den.